You know, it just seems like these nurses, they just. Yeah, I'm a nurse. Throw those meds at you and like they just don't have time. Yes, I'm a nurse. I've been up since five o'clock in the morning because I had to get ready and get my family ready and get to the hospital for my shift where I immediately listened to shift report from a nurse because that'll help my day go very well. The patients that I had yesterday, I don't have again today. Who knows what, what my day has in store. I packed my lunch and I actually have a little dinner too, but I won't be able to have my lunch. It won't be enough time because I have to take care of everyone and there's not enough time for me to leave the floor. Um, I, there was a very nice patient that sent in cookies. So I'll probably grab a cookie and then my energy level will crash. I don't know, this generation, this generation, they just, they just don't have the time to treat you well. You know, you kind of wonder why don't nurses look more healthy? Huh? Well, there's a lot of reasons. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I we are taught not to say too much about our personal lives. And also, if a patient is sick, they don't want to hear about your problems. So we paste on our little smile. And these days, nurses are getting hit and they're getting cussed out. Like people are stressed out, but I'm sorry. Nurses are people and we're stressed out too. I can't even talk to the people that actually cuss nurses out because, you know, what are you gonna say to them? Are they gonna change their demeanor? Are they gonna change their personalities? No. But the thing is, who's standing up for nurses? We're trying to take care of people. And we are the very ones that are abused. This cannot, this cannot continue. And especially the older nurses, I feel so terrible for them. It's tragic. It's absolutely tragic. I haven't even talked about the night shift. What about these nurses and older nurses go to the night shift a lot because Okay, the patients are sleeping and they're, they don't have like the different tests uh, being performed at night. And there's not as many discharges, sometimes admits, but not as many discharges. <clears throat> and a lot of people say, oh, the, the nurses on night shift, they're not very good. That's not true. That's not true. Sometimes that is their predicament, believe me. We don't like the night shift. I worked the night shift when I was a single mom. I didn't want to do that. I had to leave my kids home alone because I had no support system. And I never acted like anything was bothering me. I wasn't stressed out. No, I'm here. I can't wait to take care of everybody and get peed on and get blood on me and people throw up. I can't wait. I, I'm here for you. Really, we're people. We're people. Even though I love to take care of people, the amount of abuse that's coming in from the outside, this cannot be ignored. I, I just died back there. Okay, here's another thing that we're taught in nursing school. You should not negotiate a salary because we should be doing our nursing duty out of the kindness of our heart. But yet, I'm not sure who's gonna take care of us as we take care of people out of the kindness of our heart. 
as much as I would have loved to have done that, when I went into nursing school, going to be the best nurse because I wanted to take care of people and take them from their illness to what is causing the problem and then changing their world. Just like, I have the answers, this is what you'll do, and you'll be much better. Like they just don't have time. They just don't give you any time anymore these days. That's not nursing. You see, it goes more like this. You learn how to take care of people, and then you go into the hospital, and you don't have enough staff to really take care of people. So you're pushing meds down their throat and like, come on, get out of the bed. We gotta get to the bathroom. You got a test going. What do you mean you have to go to the bathroom now? We don't have time for this because I have somebody over in the next room next to you that, that really needs help. And what am I doing in here? Okay, I gotta go. Okay, we, we're gonna need more staffing if we're truly gonna take care of these patients. And I mean, take care, care. I don't mean push meds down their throat and get them to test and start IVs and make sure that their fluids are running. I, okay. So negotiating salary. But uh, yeah, I, I can't get proper treatment. Uh, I think it has to do with their schooling. I do, I, I and and their upbringing, their upbringing. I just they don't, you know, they just want to get paid anymore. They just want to get paid, and you know, frankly, I'm kind of getting tired of the whole, you know, system like that. So. I have even negotiated with an employer that was shocked and put a guilt trip on me for saying that I needed more money to work for them to take care of their patients. And well, that's not very becoming on a nurse. Really? I have bills to pay. Who's going to pay them? And uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> I've been... Who are these people? Did this employer, are they working for free? Hello? Hello? Who's paying my electricity bill? My car payment, my house payment, my kids to go to the doctor, my kids to have braces? Um, hello? It, my water bill? I don't know. Could I take my kids out to like a movie? Oh no, <laughs> no, that's silly. No, you just come in here to work. You know, it just seems like these nurses, they just, you know, they come in, they just give you some, some meds. They don't seem like they care much. They you just need peanuts, honey, come on. You should be ashamed of yourself. Really? Okay, but then there's the great thing about nursing. If you get out of the hospital and you're not working in a clinic and you're an entrepreneur, taking care of people, because in the hospital, that's mostly what you do is document. You just sit at the computer. It looks like we're doing nothing, but no, if JCO comes in the Joint Commission, which oversees you know, everything that goes on in the hospital and whether nurses are doing what they should be doing, if they come in and you don't have good notes or if somebody decides to sue the hospital, then they sue the doctor and they sue the nurse, they sue everybody that touched them while they're in the hospital. If your documentation is not good, or you're called into court and all you have is that documentation, do you know how many patients you've seen since then? Okay, your documentation has to be spot on. Okay, so 
I guess maybe you can understand more when a nurse is just sitting there. She's been sitting there for an hour. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And we'll be sitting there for more hours because we have to document everything we've done. And we've done a lot. I mean, you get it? Like we're running around the floor and then we have to come sit down and type out everything we just ran around and did on every single patient. Yes, we have to sit there. And the sooner that you can get there to, to type it all into the computer, the better off you are because otherwise you forget little things and then they don't get into the documentation. And then that really could wind up being your rear end. So that is what we're doing sitting at the computer. And yeah, we might be like laughing while we're doing it and like talking. Okay. This job is stressful. You have to talk to somebody and like vent. Like, I don't know, go somewhere else in your head to your happy place. Talk about your kids that you're gonna miss for like the next three days because you're working a 12 hour shift for three days. And after your three 12s, that next day, you your mind is blown. you're exhausted, if you're able, you're gonna wanna just stay in bed. That's what I used to do. I would just stay in bed all day while the kids were at school. They would come home from school and we would just have like a little party like on the bed because I was just like, oh my goodness, I can't. Except if they had like a sporting event or some kind of after school event, I was up and I had that happy face put back on, yay! I would be called in for an extra shift. Hmm, well that's extra money. We could really use that. And then I contracted with four different employers. I would have all my jobs lined out for how much money that I would need. And then there's the the little calls, can you come in? Can you come in? And I'm thinking, I could use the money. I could use the money. That that actually helped me as a single mom. And I would look at the planner and if the kids didn't have anything going on and um, and it wouldn't, it wouldn't interrupt their schedule, I went in. And sometimes I would negotiate like, okay, you if you just find somebody to come in maybe early for their shift, I got that covered. And I would go in and work. So that way the kids wouldn't be at home alone. They wouldn't start to believe that mom's never home. Mom's never there for them. That they have no support. So in that way, nursing was so good to me. You know, having like heart pain. Even now, nursing is really good to me because I have so much knowledge that other people just don't have. And it seems second nature to me. So all the more, I really think that our communities need patient advocates because it appears that patients aren't professional patients. And I just think that they already know how to conduct themselves when they go to a provider or to the hospital or at home, like taking care of yourself at home. It's not common knowledge. I'll teach you how to be healthy at home, take it or leave it. But also, I'm gonna teach you how to be a professional patient. Hi, I'm a professional patient and I know what I'm doing at the clinic that I just arrived at. So that when you go to the clinic or to the hospital, you know how to make sure you're being treated appropriately and to get the best results for the least amount of money because we're all trying to save money, right? So, okay. I'm a professional game player. I may not be in the NFL, but I am at the clinic and I'm a professional patient. I'll wait here. Yeah, uh, yeah, a man can't get treatment. I don't know about the ladies. 
but yeah, this this healthcare system is broken, and it these doctors, everybody's a doctor. They need to be able to know how to treat people. And uh, yeah, these ladies, they come in. They're all nurses. And then, uh, you know, you get these young whippersnappers. 